I have opened the image timgrass.psd. I will pick the rectangular marquee tool and select this part of the image that I would like to somehow extend with grass as opposed to these other background elements. I will go to the main menu under Edit and Fill. This time, instead of choosing to fill the selected area with color, I will select Content Aware from this drop-down menu and I will make sure the blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Once I click OK, Photoshop will try to fill the selected area with its best guess judging on what the surrounding area of my selection is. Since it sees grass outside of my selection, it will try to fill it with grass. Because Photoshop is doing some guessing for this operation, you may not always get what you would like as a result, but it will often get you part of the way there in getting rid of unwanted elements, and you can then work with other tools and operations you've learned so far to finesse your image further. In GIMP, you will need to download and install a plugin in order to get this functionality. The same type of operation for GIMP is called Heal Selection Resynthesizer. Since we have an image open, let me show you a couple more things that you may find useful. If you press Command R on your keyboard, you will see that rulers get toggled on or off surrounding your canvas. You can change the units displayed on these rulers by right clicking on them and selecting whether you want pixels as your measure or inches or any other unit you find most useful. Additionally, from the rulers, you can click and drag out guides, which are invisible lines they won't affect your image in any way and they will not print along with your image. These guides can be helpful when you want to create compositions and control how you align various elements, or you can create sections where you will contain parts of your image. You can create guides in GIMP the same way. To grab and move a guide you have already created, you need to use the Move tool to do so. If you want to hide your guides, you can press Command and semicolon on the keyboard or go to View, Show, and uncheck the Guides option. In GIMP, to toggle the visibility of your rulers and your guides, you can go to the main menu, View, Show Rulers, or Show Guides.